Well, g'day guys. It's time to do the dashboard. Um, I've had a pretty big day in the shed. I've been fluffing around with the steering column. I'm repainting that uh, black. So yes, yeah, so I've got all of the uh, steering column parts into primer, ready to paint black. Um, a little bit premature to sand them down at the minute, so I'm looking for something else to do. So first we really need to take a template. So we do that quite easily. Just by spraying a little bit of glue over the surface. So basically what we need to do, because it's going to be fighting, it's going to be fighting all the way, I think we're going to need to do seams guys. We are going to need to do seams. Not sure if you can see, but there, 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 and there. Put witness marks on there. And the same on the cover, on the fabric. One of them lines up with that seam intersection. It just makes everything, uh, you know that everything's in exactly the right spot, but it's very easy to pull, pull the top or the bottom harder and the whole thing winds up skewered, so the little witness marks, and you do that when you're making the pattern. So, so let's see how we go. For all our spells, Ethan's car's got the most magnificent black dash pad on it, crash pad. It's un, it's it's in mint condition. It's uncracked, but I promised him I wouldn't steal it. So. Now, you really only have one chance of getting this right, okay? Um, you'll notice I had to put a few seams in this, in this um, cover because um, 
just the fabric won't go over these angles at all. Okay, so because I've started with the seam through the middle here, um, the fabric has an, an, an amount of stretch in it that needs to come out. So I'm gonna once I once this glue's like dry, I'm gonna put get this fabric and I'm gonna pull it in this direction. Okay, so that's gonna tension up the fabric and it's gonna want to make the fabric wrap around the job. Um, and that's gonna make it a hell of a lot easier. So yeah, I think we're pretty much ready now. Okay. So, and we're only going to clip the fabric on in one location. And just clip it there. Okay, so that's our sort of starting point. Now I'm going to go back to the seam that I've had to um, stick on. And I'll pull that seam over. And finish that off. because that needs to be straight. Okay, so the seam's done. I've got a, enough tension out. Instinct tells me to go up onto this section here. Now I'm gonna pull this reasonably tight. Just gonna get a little, jeepers, just about cut my thumb there. A little strand of fabric there and just clip it down. So I cut a little, just a, I cut a little, um, little notchy thing and that just allows me to clip that one section down. Okay, now Instinct tells me to work the back first because that's easy and it's easy to finish off. And now when you're going around an outside corner, you have to create little little puckers inside corners are a different kettle of fish you don't want to have any lumps underneath there and just in case it hits on something and pushes the corner up so you've got to try and cut all this rubbish out close to the um, underside as possible. Okay, now a really important part. Lift that fabric off and just grab a nice big handful, roll it over, and you've got to press it into that groove because you've got to get it into that groove before anything else got to do some relief cuts because this is an inside corner you've got to do some relief cuts but don't cut too far otherwise you will catch yourself out and it'll all be over. Middle's easy, that'll just fall over. You've got to get these inside curves done. And this one on the outside, which is a real mongrel too. In fact, actually, I might do this outside one first. Certainly no evidence of these those big nasty horrible cracks. The definition there is what I wanted to retain. I wanted I wanted that. There's the cat. She's very patient.
Okay. I'll just get the dashboard up here and just have a we'll have a dummy fit and see how it looks, eh? screw that fits the keyhole down there, the keyway down there, and that end was always missing. It wasn't there when I took the, the dashboard apart. And the reason is it seems to be stripped out a little bit, so I might put a, a slightly more grunty screw in there. Um, got a bit, little bit of gappage in here, but I'm hoping that once it all pushes, I might spend a little bit of time and actually trim out that corner there. Trim out this corner, it's a little bit too much gathered fabric in there and it's stopping that fitting on there nicely. You never know, I might even have another crack at it. I'll sleep on that one. It looks it looks bloody good. It's just we're going to iron some bugs out of it. Hi guys. Well I uh, came home tonight from work hell bent on totally stripping this dashboard and uh, having a, another crack at it. Um, I wasn't happy with how it fitted around the actual face of the dash itself. This is the crash pad. And uh, yeah, we had some issues here with gaps uh, around there and lumps of fabric and all sorts of things. And Well, it was okay, but it was not perfect. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've, um, yeah, I, I thought I'd rework what I've got because it looks cool anyway. So I actually need to bring the fabric over harder and... Um, tighter um, because it's already on there now I need to actually stretch the fabric further around so I can get rid of excess pack uh, excess fabric puckers and whatnot so I'm going to lose that that edge um, that's okay I'm happy with that I'm also going to um, with the Dremel I'm going to sand away all of the old vinyl and the old foam and um, and so so it minimize so so it minimizes the bulkiness um, because this thing just wasn't fitting down on top of the dash. I mean, and the other thing is too, the old screws, they were twisting in the holes. The holes were like, it was only two out of the three that were actually biting. And um, I'm going to actually screw it up with tech screws. Okay, the first part I need, I need to attack is this part here. Um, those relief cuts, because these inside corners, like I was explaining last night, these inside corners are really, really, really hard to master. If you do your relief cut too far, you can see it. And that's exactly what's happened on this, this occasion. Um, um, mind you, I still wasn't able to pull the, um, the dash, the crash pad down uh, and I don't think I'll be able to pull the crash pad down properly until, you know, I'm putting the car together. So as you can see, I've taken all of the old foam and vinyl, just trimmed it all away and I've, I've exposed the steel again. So, so now I can actually get this cover all the way snug against the steel. There's, you know, a fair bit of tweaking that I've got when, when I'm putting the car together. But uh, yeah, it just wasn't right last night. So anyways, hopefully this will get it. This corner doesn't want to pull in, it's sitting out. Now I've cut foam away, I've cut the original cover away, I've minimised the amount of cover that I've got but that does not want to go in there. It's clashing. The actual backing frame there is clashing with the dashboard. It's like it does not want to go. Hi guys, day three on this dashboard. I've had a second crack at this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the cover completely, scrap it. I'm going to fit this, make sure that this thing fits um, the, the dash face here. And then I'm going to start. Bought some really cool music, the Melvins, a song called Graveyard. All right, I'll leave you to it. Okay, 
Firstly, I've uh, identified that, that that steel there seems to be sitting too far low. Um, this is on that left hand corner. So I've just dented that up a little bit. I'm going to sand off that excess vinyl, okay, and, um, and foam. And I'm going to um, just refit it to check it. Now, I think that's probably going to fix my problem. Straight off the bat, I can tell that's better. Yeah, that's good. That top corner. Now, I don't know if you can see that now. But I can actually see daylight through there, which is really what I want. Because you can actually see daylight around the whole thing now. And that's going to... That'll be the thickness of our vinyl. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's really good. All right, let's do this. Now on this side, because we've got two different coloured fabrics and I don't have any black thread, I'm going to do what's called a single top stitch. That is, that is a double top stitch, okay, we've got two lines, of course, single top stitch is just you fold the seam over to one side and you just track along.
Is it my imagination or are these Stanley knife blades getting shittier? I mean, that's a brand new blade. It, it's only 6mm foam. It should just slice through that like butter. Okay, so it's all foamed up now. It's exactly where I wanted the foams. Just a straight edge on the back and that tapered edge on the front. Um, and I've left that section there um, just in the original vinyl because I need to, need to glue that seam down and it needs to be in exactly that position and it needs to um, basically bind to something solid because that whole seam is the you know the definition of the two or delineation of the two uh, fabrics um, that has to be good um, if you glue glue that seam onto foam yeah it'll probably sit in the right spot but um, yeah it's it's better to actually get it onto the hard deck first things first I'm going to glue the seam and glue that I'm going to get this cover in position first and then we're going to cover the dashboard. Loaded that glue right up, okay. It's 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 a technique, it's not an accident. With contact adhesive, especially rubber-based contact adhesives for upholstery, you buy them and it's called cool. I can't remember what they're called. You I've seen them you can buy them in spray cans and bunnings and whatnot. Don't be afraid to load it right up, um, but let it dry right off, okay? Let it go so touch dry. Um, and then it'll give you a really good bond. Um, some fabrics, if you're, you're gluing fabric, if it's a woven fabric, you'll notice um, the glue will bleed through the fabric and it'll be visible from the top and it's all over for you. So uh, you just have to be careful with the fabric. Got a little pucker in here. Okay, what's happened is the foam, when you pull the cover over, it drags the foam back with it. So you use the upholstery regulator okay, and you just slide it in there and you just push the push the foam back up to the seam where it belongs. I want to see that fabric naturally want to shrink around the inside of this corner.
So I found where I want the cover to sit in relation to that um, little uh, drop down area, that little uh, end piece. So just put a little mark there and I want it to sort of line up with that uh, little stud. I was really worried about that spot there because I had uh, some puckers on that on that on that face, and uh, I just didn't know how, what sort of coverage that uh, little panel would give it. But that's good. So it's going to pretty much hide everything. It's a couple of little bits of lumpy bumpy there, but honestly, I mean, in the scheme of things, you're not going to notice it. And I'm probably just being a bit too picky now. I'm not going to worry about covering that end yet because if this is wrong, we aren't going to proceed. That's good. take this fabric over the edge. Nailed it. Nailed it. This edge isn't very distinct, but it never really was going to be. But I'm bloody happy with that. So that's amazing, guys. Um, three attempts. Okay. Hours of work. Probably ten hours um, to get it right but it's as good as it's ever going to be. And it's as good as it could have been, um, given that it's, you know, covered over an a, um, injection-moulded dashboard. Um, bit sad that I have lost the definition of that edge. Um, I've kept a little bit of it. Now, I'm probably not going to worry about that. Um, I'm just going to go through and paint these, these brown bits black. Um, no, I'm, I'm happy, all things being equal, just looking at it, it's spot on. So, you know, if something doesn't go right and you're not happy with it, don't carry on. Stop and redo it. Standards are quite funny, though. they're very personal. Um, now, if you do something and you're happy with it, great. If you do something that you're not happy with, but are not going to change, well, you can't settle for second best. If, if, if 
best is achievable. And that's the best that this could ever be. And I'm happy with it. Now I'm going to cover the other end, which is a walk in the park. I'm just going to bake for this. This is actually going to be upholstered in the brown fabric. While, I get, while I've got the glue gun going, I'm going to cover this as well. So that fits like a glove. That's all those screw holes lined up, and that's really important, especially when you're taking fabric underneath something like I did there, um, because that fabric has to sandwich under there. I was really worried about that, but uh, yeah, look at that. See, that's going to be in the brown fabric. That's black. That's black. So you've got this black dashboard surround, which comes all the way down. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to cover this piece as well right now while I'm doing gluing. most important section of this is to make sure that the fabric gets down into that edge. Okay, so that's where you start really. <clears throat> okay, when you want to um, glue up around a corner and in a corner like that, just put a forty-five, oh, well, yeah, forty-five degree cut across there. Okay, and you, what will happen is that that little tail piece will bend over the edge, but it'll mean that you don't have any excess of fabric. So that that piece is going to fold, that piece is going to fold, and they're going to meet. Much like this, one there, and one there. couple of minutes and um, voila it's pretty good so it actually goes there and and when you open the door you can actually see that section there and there's three screws but they're in a sort of a recess and you have to poke the fabric into the recess and you pop those screws back in there just so I don't lose them so that's how to look on the car with the screws the screws sort of match pretty well so I'm going to leave them that color I won't send them away.
there. Better this time than the last time because I adjusted the cover patterns a little bit. See, the benefit about taking a cover off and having another crack at it, it actually allows you to, um, it allows you to make adjustments that you realise needed to be made, um, you know, after, after you've started. This bottom corner, I don't know if you can see that, I put a little seam in there. Okay, it's a dart, it's basically just a dart, just a, a cut of V and, um, and uh, just sew it. But the important thing is that you get the location correct. Um, I, I found I was having a massive wad of fabric under there the last time. You know, I can upholster around it and get around it, but it makes it so much easier, cleaner, and neater just to, to do that. So I could do that. The other thing I did, I actually sent this fabric all the way down and around the back onto this back edge here, and I continued that seam out of sight. Um, whereas before, I stopped sewing there on the corner, and I sort of did a pleat, which pleats are shit. Pleats are for old deep diamond button lounge suites but wow uh, the other thing I did um, I also added foam to this section which I, I wasn't going to do but uh, and in the first attempt I didn't do it but the result is just so much better it just looks stunning I know the black and tan is unorthodox and you purists are going to hate it but the fact is that dashboard it's going to look superb.